Over thousands of years, we've been experientially studying consciousness and metaphysics. Only recently, since the scientific revolution, has a global paradigm of materialism become dominant. Industrialization has connected billions of people to electricity and the internet, plus much more. The revelation of quantum mechanics blew our minds, and now the 21st century is knocking. How can science possibly probe the most primal question of our existence? What is consciousness? If you'll join me for a moment in a game, I'd like to ask you to close your eyes and imagine you are in bed, dozing off. You immediately begin dreaming that you're in a kitchen, pouring yourself some tea. You're adoring the high quality of this full immersion where you can literally even smell the aroma. You accidentally spill a little and suddenly you snap back to laying in your bed with your eyes open. What you just experienced, we predict, is a microcosm reflecting the macrocosm. In other words, the same way we dream a reality and take a first person perspective is precisely what we are doing with this reality. It's recursive. Reality calls on us to dream for one third of our lives. Quite an obvious hint. One indivisible infinite consciousness in a dream, fully immersed in the high quality, completely forgetting it is a dream. Why we see people running around seeking objects, relationships, substances, anything, is because they want to per pierce the veil of separation to feel whole. The irony is, you already are what you seek. Rupert, how was that? That was pretty good, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't add much to that. <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, if if you know if that's if that's the case, then um, that makes me happy. I'm always happy, but that makes me especially happy because it's very important to me to take what these diverse leaders like yourself around the world are communicating and be able to try and compress the messages into the most relatable stories, which is basically what you do with your metaphors. Yeah. And yes, um, you've said infinite consciousness is the ultimate dreamer whose activity is the universe. Yes. I really like that yeah. as well. 